Hi, welcome to Planetary Calendars, Astro Portraits. I'm Ralph Demetrius, one of the astrologers. The portrait this week is part of our musician series, and it's actually part of our music musicians who are Torians, Torian sons, and it's Willie Nelson. Now, we recently did the charts for both Barbra Streisand and Cher, both Torians, but they're both primarily singers, where Willie Nelson's chart, also a Torian, and with some real similarities, is also a writer. He's, a, you know, that's where he really got started, was writing music in the country western world. So he is born on April 30th, 1933. He's actually the oldest of the three. At 12.30 p.m. in Abbott, Texas. He is born with the sun at 9 degrees Taurus, very close to the midheaven. The midheaven was at 11 degrees. Venus is at 12. Chiron is at 27. He's born with 16 degrees Leo rising. And he's born with the moon at 15 degrees Cancer. Now, it's interesting that he and Barbara Streisand have that in common. Very strong cancer in the chart. Now, Barbara Streisand is a Taurian with cancer rising. He's a Taurian with a cancer moon. Uh, he has Leo rising, where both Barbara Streisand and Cher have very strong Leo in their chart. Uh, Barbara Streisand has a Leo moon. Um, let's see, Cher has a Leo Mars. But he has Leo rising. Now, he has the Mars... In Virgo, and that's the first planet below the horizon. And then he has Neptune and Jupiter also in Virgo in the second house. And this is really something that it's very Mercury ruled, okay? But it's very good for a, uh, a songwriter, you know, because it's it's detailed. It, it really shows that the, the willingness to work on something, you know, endlessly, you know, just keep working on it and working on it and working on it, perfecting it. And he has the South Node there, so it's a skill that he brought through from another lifetime, this perfectionism. Uh, the Mars in Virgo is a very um, gentle position in many ways. It's very precise in its actions. Um, you find a lot of actors, in fact, have um, Mars in Virgo, the willingness to really focus on their physical actions. But he has Neptune there, which has to do with imagination and Jupiter, which, once again, has to do with how you reach out into the outer world. Interestingly, he has Mercury in the ninth house at 15 degrees, Aries, trining the rising. There's that songwriter, Mercury and Aries, and Uranus at 24 degrees. So they're pretty close there. You know, it's nine degrees away. It's not extremely close, but it definitely has some f fame factors. Whenever you look at famous people or people who get a lot of um, attention, you have to look to see what's Uranus doing? How did, where did the sizzle come in? You know, where did the excitement come in? And for him, it was Mercury, his songs. Remember, this is how he first became well-known, was his writing. Now, the sun... Venus and Chiron in the 10th house shows that he was very focused on career from early, very early on. The moon in the 12th house with Pluto shows his love of working in the studio. Now, you got the risings at 16 degrees, but uh, the rising planets are the moon and the, the Pluto. Now, the Pluto you know, makes it more global, but the moon is very, very powerful in this chart. Why? It's in rulership. It's in the feminine rulership. Cancer. This is a person with a very strong emotional nature. And oftentimes, novelists will have this position of a rising moon. It means a tremendous imagination. It, they can create their own world, you know, with, with, their, with their ideas. You know, it's funny that we tend to view in Western astrology the moon as uh, relating to emotions. But in Indian astrology they tend to view the moon as more related to thought and the mind. But if you think about the moon, how fast the moon, the moon has a lot to do with motion. You know, it's the way in which we emotionally engage, the way in which we mentally engage, the way we move. You know, the whole idea that it's the crab, it moves sideways. You know, the mother, it's because mothers are continually moving sideways around the people they're caring for. The moon is very complex and it's such a powerful indicator of how we move in our lives and how we think and feel in her, our lives. And he has it at the rising, or in that 12th house, rising up in the sky. So 
A career in music was a natural for him with that sun in Venus, Venus in rulership, in Taurus, in the 10th house. This is a person who had just the natural inclination to be successful, okay? In the second house, the house that relates to Taurus, the house that relates to the voice, he has what? Mars, Neptune, and Jupiter. Now, when you get Neptune and Jupiter like that together, that's a big success point. Neptune has a lot to do with imagining what you want to do. Jupiter has to do with carrying it out. Jupiter and Virgo has to do with the willingness to do the little steps. You know, they say that great projects are composed of lots of little steps. You know, a genius is the willingness to take endless care with the details. Well, he has that in spades. And it's one of his great natural talents. It's like the story of um, Leonard Cohen with his Hallelujah, that he wrote like 900 verses for this to come up with, you know, the 10 or 20 verses that he finally came up with. He kept trying different ones. And this is normal. People, musicians will work on songs for months, fine-tuning little things to make it just a little bit better and shifting it. It's a, a, you, know, it does, you know, every now and then someone sits down and the whole song comes out in one piece. But that is not the normal situation with how great songs are written. You know, they sometimes can take years to evolve, but oftentimes months. And he has that natural talent. Now, he has Saturn also in rulership, in the masculine rulership of Aquarius, in the seventh house. Okay, and the seventh house is a strong house for, for Saturn because it's the house of Libra. Saturn's exalted in Libra. It shows an ability to make very good partnerships. And I've seen Willie Nelson um, perform uh, live, and I've seen him on stage a lot of times. He's always with a group. He's always with a community. I mean, he travels. When he travels, he travels with a big group of people. And that's that Saturn right there at the descendant. His descendant is 16 degrees. His Saturn is 15 degrees. His ability to make partnerships is essential to his success. Okay? And realize, too, that um, Saturn is square that Venus so there were challenges here. There were challenges within his life about his ability to um, be there for people, to have, you know, the Venus and Taurus love of luxury. In the, but in the 10th house of career, squaring Saturn, his desire for a career. There was real, he's dealt with a lot of sacrifices of having to sacrifice his personal life for the sake of his career. Okay? But... Remember, you have the Sun and Venus and Taurus, and they're trining by sign that tr those three planets, Mars, Neptune, and Jupiter, in Virgo. He, in many ways, as a musician, sees himself as a working man. You know, Virgo is the servant. He sees himself as serving other people, you know, in that, in that, that's, you know, and doing it on a stable way. Taurus endures. Taurus is about the long term. It's, you know, I love the, 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 the there was a great saying out of a movie that, you know, this, is there something you want me to know? Well, the, the, the ox is slow, but the earth is patient. That's Taurus, you know, the ox is slow, but the earth is patient. Okay, we plod. He was born in 1933. He's still performing. How many years later? That is so Taurian. And Taurians tend to have long careers in a field that, you know, can be very mercurial. But his Mercury is an Aries. He likes to travel. He likes to engage with people. And when he does that, that Uranus comes in from the ninth house and it adds sizzle to it. And he does a sizzling performance. He's really, he's a pretty amazing performer. So, of course, there's lots more in, in the chart that we could talk about, but that really gives you some insights, I think, into... Um, the longevity of this man and, and how he views himself, how he views himself. And of course, Leo Rising, they love being on stage. They really do. So that's Willie Nelson, part of our musician series, a Torian. And uh, remember, you can find our portraits at Planetary Calendar Astrology on YouTube. And of course, you can find them at planetarycalendar.com, where you can also find the Planetary Calendar. Until next time, be well.